last 10 games. All right, we're taking on the Pistons. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's win. We need a victory here. We'll do this. Now that's the kind of energy I like to see. Feels so good to be home. All right. Let's hope the team does better than it did the last game. Uh, we're taking on the Pistons in Boston at the Celtics Arena. Let's go. There's Kyrie. We need this victory, man. We need this victory. Let's go. That guy did not look happy. Right, still not starting. You haven't played against Not yet. Talent in practice. All right, but well, let's get in the game. Where are we at? Five minutes remaining in the uh, period. It's ten to nine. Last game for the Celtics. It was a loss to the Pacers in Indiana. And with your defense, one part's your ability. The other, though, is effort. And in that one, they showed neither. Also, they were late with their rotation. Oh, come on! That was a good, clean block, man. Oh, come on, Bradley! Come on, get over it. All right. The national high school title at Finley Prep and was considered a top five prospect. Some had him even at number one. And still after one season at Texas, he fell to the Celtics at 19 in that 2010. Uh, and so Bradley nails both of them. And Bradley, a great athlete. He won the dunk contest in high school. Terrific player. But he's no. not a big highlight player, it seems, in the NBA, Greg. Yeah. All right. I hit the timeout button by mistake. Uh, oops. And that's been his meal ticket. He's added skill, though. He's turned the corner and has become a two-way threat. Now here's Irving. He's coming off a 28-point game against Indiana. And he did great work Nothing on the net. Band, too, with three steals on the night. The Pistons have gone Get on your guys, Scotty. Five of 11. Jackson up top. Now, here's Brant, guarded by Smart. Shot clock at six. And it's Bradley off the drive, off target at the rim. My board. So outlet pass. Let's go. Come on, you heard the coach. We need to get out there and make some outlet passes. Where are you going? And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Drummond. Just a moment to look back at how things were last season for this team as we look at the shot breakdown for Boston. And they concentrate All right. a lot. Throwing it in. And All right, give me the ball. From beyond the arc. Player movement, finding space on the perimeter. That was their number one priority. All right, good ball movement. We scored our first points. Things are looking good so far. Let's shut down this guy. There we go. It's a steal. Pass it. Woo, nice. That was impressive. Nice feed, Kyrie. That's why mm. a complete basketball player. The dime. All right. Uh, Kyrie, you trying to steal the ball, mate? And some trying to steal the ball, Kyrie. Tatum comes in for Al Horford. And Wells is subbed in for Marcus Smart. Anthony Tolliver. He's checked in for the Pistons. Jackson kicks to Galloway. That's mine. Get out of there. That's mine. Austin leading by four. Guys, uh, they've been getting it done. They came out with a mission, and they have been tough to stop. Well, you talk about scores. And All right, let's NBA, go. Kyrie Irving is right up there. Money. With his ball handling and money. Making ability, he can Nothing but money. And the first one you better make that, Kyrie. I want to see swishes, man. Swishes only from Kyrie. Around the rim, what a great handle! It, it makes him special to watch. I totally agree. His dribbling ability and finishing around the rim with either left or right, he is so skilled. He makes highlights every time he touches the ball. I call him the bus driver. Oh, I like that. The bus driver. I like that, Smitty. Good one. Jackson kicks to Tolliver. Pass to Marjanovic to stop the run. And the layup is up and in. Ah. And this is the value of letting the play develop. You find the weakness in the defense. The Celtics have gotten seven of their first ten attempts to fall so far. Excellent pace to their offense. Out left to the wing. And the shot by Wells, no good. 
Come on, Shammy. We need your three pointers. Outside Jackson. There's a screen by Marjanovic. Galloway, no good. That had me boxed out, man. That pisses me off. There we go. Monsters got a second bucket of the night. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. This is it to Marjanovic. No, no, I did not. Ah, oh, come on, man. I'm sitting down already now, man. Shoot. All right, we're back in. Game against Oklahoma City. And it was an unselfish night for him as well. He got oh, crap. To go along with all Not me. On the oh, it's Horford that time. And then Bradley are together in the backcourt. Lure and Drummond together down low. And a terrace in at the small forward spot. Detroit shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. Not really where you'd like to be as a team in terms of free throw shooting. Just about 73%. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. John Lord, All right, we're up by 11. Life, but he was a solid contributor. Not the greatest of defenders, but he will always give you effort. Mostly deployed as a stretch four. Irving dishes to Hayward. Now the pass to the monster. Forget about it. Woohoo! Andre Drummond picks one up. The precise pass and ability of Hayward really a luxury for this team. And there's so much more to the game than explosive That's what I'm talking so about. It, All right, let's see if we can uh, improve on our... We were five for five in the last episode. Oh, no. Yeah, Shoot. <laughs> Jinxed myself. Shouldn't even talk about it. Uh, Mike Conley for some other names. Draymond Green. Uh, those guys, they won't wow you with their athleticism, but they have such a high basketball IQ. Chris Paul... Uh, those guys, they just know how to play. Harrison Barnes is another one. Irving for three. The basket good off the assist. Here we go, Kyrie. Irving's got five now. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Smith kicks to Drummond. Screen by Smith. Drummond passes to Brent. Smith outside. He dishes it to Bradley. 11 feet away, and he connects with the jumper. And this is what Avery likes. It's where he feels most comfortable, the in-between area. Irving kicks to Hayward. And stolen by Drummond. Dude. Bradley with the ball. Coming in off a 21-point game, his last outing. Smith dishes to Bradley. Now the feed to Harris. Pass to Drummond. And stolen by Kyrie Irving. Can't hit from the low block. Celtics I don't know what happened there. We stole it. They stole it right back. Pass to the monster. That's tipped. Out of bounds. That's our ball. Takes possession. No, he tipped it. For Smith. He's around Come on, man. Six assists and two rebounds. Backup point guard. Always an important position. And he feels that role beautifully. Without a good floor conductor coming off the bench, your offense can quickly grow stagnant. He solves that problem well. And Horford pulls it down. I mean, Shit. he's struggling. Hitting a low I, I screwed that up. Shots this quarter. He feeds it to Hayward. Down low. Out of bounds. Detroit takes possession. Jimmy Cricket's another turnover. Okay, leaderboard to see the best up-tempo teams in the league. <sighs> Fifth on the list, the Pistons. I think that's what really distinguishes them offensively. They really like to get out in transition. Smith, the pass to Lou. Back to Smith. Bobbed up there for Drummond. Got the steal. Got lucky on that. The good there we go. 16-point lead. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball move. Time All right. Called here. The Pistons decide to pair of 25-point-per-game scorers swap teams 
in the offseason. That's what you call a blockbuster. Irving against Smith. From 13, Harris misses. And no doubt there we go. Another rebound for me. What am I doing with the ball? What, what am I doing with the ball? Taller, perhaps more defensive upside and three years younger. The Celtics feel he fits their timeline. Smith kicks to Harris. To the paint. Here's Drummond. That's in, and that's his fourth basket of the night. He's taken seven shots, a solid 57%. Not letting his team down. He's been very strong. He just needs a little help from his teammates. Out to Hayward. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I get the assist, man. I, I, I didn't dunk it. I should have meant to dunk it, but. One of his favorite shots to take. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. <clears throat> Third foul. Gonna go to the bench here, aren't I? The two big things that you want from a center are rebounding and defense. Drummond can provide both. One of the best rebounders in his league. Defense, though, it can be hit or miss at times. They throw good Drummond. And certainly Drummond's such a force with his rebounding. Steve, as you mentioned, second in the league last year. And the defense is coming along as well. And as Coach said, he's improved playing away from the basket. Drummond has the athleticism to be an elite defender. Hayward outside. Here's the monster, and it's sent back by Drummond. The foot speed to get they got the rebound and one. Of the jump. All right. With raw talent as a shot blocker. Zelitz have gone six of nine at the line. The Pistons making a change here. Jackson's checking. Embarrass me, man. I come right back. The free throw. Oh, come on, monster. man. Well, a bit of a disappointing season for the Pistons last year. I thought they were ready to turn a corner with this group. End up missing the playoffs for the seventh time in eight years. And good that time. It can be deceiving. The quickness of Harris's first step, nice. Over to the wing. Three, deep. hit it. Horford's shot is All right. Horford's got nine. Horford, man, the big guy. Pistons trail by 19. And for the Pistons, they know Another they assist, 8.4 rebounds, two assists. They what they in that regard. Kevin, you just wonder if this team is at a crossroads. They need to decide if they should miss the playoffs again. Is it time to rebuild? I look at this Pistons team, the one thing they have to do is... I get credit for another outside. steal. His temperature is rising. And we get some points it off that steal, rising. so... Outside Brantley. And it's Lure, top of the key. Bradley dishes to Lure. Back to Bradley. There's a good screen. Drummond. Well timed. Ah. He goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Drummond's <sighs> got seven now in this quarter. The one thing about Drummond, you can be right up on him. He even try to overplay his strong side. He can still get it done. Here's Smart. Nine points last game out. Hayward passes to Horford. And yep, finally drops All right. rolling around the rim. 11 points in the game. Doing Tiny no wrong this game. So much just assist, rolling. That's been the recipe for success. That is running me ragged, man. Fires the three. Nope. No. Oh. It's good. Oh. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? The easy Shoot. In the paint. I missed the box out. And that's going to take us to half. I'm pretty sure. Yep. Yeah. All right, what do I got? I got eight points, four boards, two assists, two steals. All right, halfway through the third. I'm 30 points up, man. What the? And it's Rozier in at the point guard position. That's who's in the game for the Celtics. Pistons passing it around. Morjanovic kicks to Drummond. And the whistle. Oh, man, that's my fourth foul, man. And you see the body control of Drummond, undeterred by some physical D, now going to the line for one more. 
for several years. You've looked at Andre Drummond, and the first oh, word that comes to mind is potential. How'd that happen, he is man. still learning, still developing, certainly. But, you know, you wonder, Steve, if he's starting to approach the type of player he's going to be in Plateau. You know, let's be clear. He's a great player, but people might have overshot what he could have been. Needs to play with a bit more urgency, but he's still young, and he can make another leap in his play. And he's good on the second. Come on, let's go. And Tobias Harris, the former Tennessee volunteer, you would think a player who has been so efficient, Steve, on offense his whole career, wouldn't have bounced around as much as he had. All right. How come it doesn't happen always a factor on offense and he does when I'm in practice, I don't lose the ball like that. But. Coach, I love to have him as an option. Two points, that one goes. And you got to respect how accomplished Brown is down low, destroying whoever is in his way. Jackson dishes to Drummond. Out to Harris from beyond the arc. The rebound by the Celtics. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be firmly in the driver's seat. All right. And that's another We're up by 31. And, and this is the pace, though, guys, that's been working for them. They are winning the battle in transition. Look for them to keep pushing the tempo. Drummond with a screen on Hayward. Here's Harris. And a pick pounds off the rim, but it sinks right in. Harris has got six in the quarter. I love the way Harris moves off screens. Usually gets Where's some ball handlers at, man? He needs. There's the pick. To the left side wing. On the wing, Brown. He's got six. Just five on the clock. It's a ah. rebound. Marjanovic has got six rebounds in the game. Jackson kicks to Drummond. The dish to Harris. Marjanovic down low. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. Mm. Harris has got three assists tonight. Not feeling this right now. Rozier the pass to the monster. Dishes it to Horford. Here's the monster. Unable to get that one. And Detroit the other way now. Well, you could at least follow up your own damn shot. The Suns. That game will be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. Drummond the screen. Upside Jackson. A baseline J. Tries again. Morjanovic. No good. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. Round kicks to Hayward. Horford sets a screen for Hayward. The monster passes to Horford. Inside. No good for the monster. Just great at getting after it defensively. I'm not Forcing getting any good shots, man. Tough shot. Yeah, to be successful, you got to do better. Check the paint. He rises. Get out of that zone. Get out of the zone. Harris against Hayward. All right, let that guy. Here's Marjanovic. Nice fake, but the layup off the mark. Hmm, allowed another offensive rebound, man. That's just That's killing me. reason why they're behind. Brown the pass to the monster. And the rejection by Marjanovic. Well, I tell you He's what, just he's embarrassing me there, man. The bench. If he keeps shooting it like that, he has been putrid here this quarter. Shot to end this cold run. Detroit with the rebound. And that's Crap. the look this offense is designed to produce. Always frustrating when you do everything right, yet just can't complete the play. And he found mm. a perfect spot behind the arc there. Big been a rough gap. quarter for me, man. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. And for Reggie Jackson last season, boy, it was not a year he had hoped for. Missed the first 21 games of the season. Then he had to be shut down later with another injury. Not what you expected from him. Looking at who's out there now for the Celtics. Marcus Morris has checked in for Horford. Tatum comes in for Gordon Hayward. And Wells is subbed in for Terry Rozier. And it's good. All right, we got our, we got our 10th point, finally. He seems to have just lost his touch. Only one for his first five here in the quarter. And for Jackson and his injury, Steve, you can tell that early one lingered as he just didn't look the same. Missed over 20 games. Uh, it certainly impacted how he likes to play. 
It definitely put a damper on his numbers. Didn't attack the rim as much. Not the same burst. He has vowed to use last season as motivation going forward. You like how he uses... Come on, Shammy. Sure, working the in-between area. Not many guys with the link to bother him. Stripped it away. And they're pushing it up. A 15-footer. And a kind roll that time off the rim as that one falls. Galloway has got five points in the quarter. Wells kicks to Tatum. On the wing, Brown. Jesus, man, I was wide open. Launches a three, and Wells the bucket on the assist by Brown. All right, Shammy. Wells has got five now. I love watching Wells pull up from beyond the arc. A remarkable score when given room to shoot. Jackson kicks to Johnson. Passes it to Tolliver. Nice ball movement by Detroit. Arjanovic. Freaking finger roll, five. man. Number five on a five for 11 night. Textbook. Nice pass. Great catch. Even better finish. The pass to the monster. Over in the corner, Brown. Come on, Brown. Oh, oh come on, Jesus. Wide connection. open, man. Come on. On the wing, Jackson. Drops in the layup for two. Jackson's got his first points of the game. The defense having to respect Jackson outside game. That opened up things for him in the inside. And so it's the Boston Celtics. All right, in the third. Kind of a lackluster game for S for Scotty here, but and they are shooting like and we're getting under and a different look here for the Pistons. All right, I get back with three minutes left in the Harris comes in for Johnson. Bradley's checked in for Langston Galloway, and Smith subbed in for Reggie Jackson. On the court for the Pistons, Smith and Bradley are together in the backcourt. Marjanovic is out there with Tobias Harris, and it's Drummond in at the center, locking down the middle. Boston's gone two of five on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. Pass to Abusele. Here's the monster. Rebound ah. up to Drummond. All right, bad shot selection. Tonight. Bradley dishes to Smith. Nothing's going. There's a screen by Marjanovic. Round against Harris. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And Steve free throws, not the most exciting aspect of the game, certainly, but they're a great way to put points on the board. Talk about the mentality for a score. You know, getting to the line and, and making that part of his game. Hey, Kevin, if you're a scorer, you got to be able to knock down free throws, especially those days you're not shooting a high percentage from the field. But if you can get to the line six times, seven times on your own, and you're shooting 85 to 90 percent, that gives you five or six points. And then you have a couple technical fouls. Forget about it. You put another two points on there. You're talking about a guy as a scorer. That are nine. We call it free mm. points. Now you need a couple threes and a couple one-on-one -on -one moves. You're at 20, and everything else after that is gravy. Galloway kicks to Drummond. We've got 148 left in the game, and the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Drummond. Some changes for Boston. Jalen Brown's checked in for Hayward. Wells comes in for Marcus Smart, and it's Rozier in for Irving. And the Pistons making a change here as well. Johnson's checked in. Rozier kicks to well. Here's the monster. Good D by Drummond. Layups. How can I not hit a layup, man? Here in the fourth. Kicks it to Bradley. Wells with the steal. Yes, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for Boston. You don't see this kind of a blowout often, but tonight this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. They just kept. All right, we got 14. They were clearly the better Probably team. Might be my last chance at a shot. Category. And this will be a big win for them. Lucky win number 13 now in the bag. And this is a great way for them to kick off this season series. Two more games ahead, and they've taken the mental advantage with this win tonight. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Kyrie Irving. You can't look back at too many major moments in this game. 25. His imprint put all over. Oh, what kind of pass was that? 
Bad call for pass. Really? Shut up. All the way through. Try and maybe build some momentum going into the next one. Because the execution was not there tonight. That's something they can use this time to work on. So the whistle blows hmm. on the shot and two for Alright, we get two shots. Right I'd like to make a free throw here. Alright, we made one, Jimmy. Finally. Let's go. Yes, all right. So we got 16. One second separating the shot clock and game clock. They set the pick. Galloway kicks to Bradley. Back to Galloway. Six on the shot clock to the inside. And he got the whistle, so he'll have a three point play opportunity. Confident scoring effort by Drummond tonight. Feels like he has everything working to his advantage. Five seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's the monster off target with that shot. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. Okay. Dominant showing in front of a crowd that love We win easily. I scored 16, but I, the defense was not there today, uh, that's for sure. Uh, rebounds weren't there. Free throws were only 50%. So. All right. Uh, do I get over 80? I'm over 80,000. I got a B minus grade, but uh, yeah. 16 points, 2 assists, 4 boards, 2 steals. I think I had 5 fouls this game. Maybe 4, I'm not sure. Big DJ begging for minutes. Oh, okay, boo boo. And that is how you end the lesson, fellas. Watch and learn. <laughs> watch and learn watch and learn there this uh if you like this episode leave a like if you have not yet subscribed i'd appreciate it if you could and we'll catch you next time on a new place nba 2k 18 thanks